Here you don't. I'm putting yourself in another person's shoes. It's the basic of communication, I think. So it is as quite natural as everyone must say to me, like it's obvious. Don't you even know something like this, or something? So now, after all this time, this way of thinking is very, very important for interactive communication these days. I think so because mutual understanding is the foundation of basic、uh, consensus building in a human society. As you can see in democratic society, where politicians reach one conclusion by consensus building based on majority decision. I know there are pros and cons about whether the majority. Decision can be applied to true consensus building in politics in a real sense, but I believe governed society can be made by true mutual understanding that enables people to find the clue to the solution of the problem that a person has with their whom they are discussing with. So, and this will promote this will promote progression of human society. I think. So it's like. I understand your circumstance. I understand your cir circumstance, and you understand my circumstance instead. So this is the essence of what I want to talk about here. So, for example, you respect discussion partner's opinion first, and you deeply understand what he or she wants to assert in discussion, and you're gonna have to make concession to him or her to pick up his or her real intention and think about the clue to the solution of the problem that he or she has. At the same time, you just, you know, refrain from talking about your strong opinion that you actually want to put as conclusion of the discussion. So instead, your discussion partner also tries to read between the lines to understand your、uh, your assertion and what you want to say from your words and from your expressions. And he or she also makes concession to you to pick up your real intention. And find the clue to the solution of the problem that you have without giving a priority to asserting his or her opinion in discussion. So it seems to me this good circulation that we just prioritize and make a concession to per, you know per discussion partners opinion each other will easily. Make an ideal conclusion in discussion without compromise, with unconvincing persuasion from each other. So I know that's unrealistic, and I know that's an is. I know this is just an ideal, right? But I think basically mutual understanding is not truly coming to effect unless we prioritize others over us. So I want to, I want to say like. The way of thinking, like putting yourself in other person's shoes, is the basic of communication, which I said in the beginning. Is that it's not. It's not like, just understanding a superficial words and expressions that, you know, your discussion person is talking about in your head, but just think thinking the meaning of the words and expressions. Of your. Discussion partners with the feeling that you're gonna do something for you, for for him or her, without your prejudice and your biased sense of value. So this is how you truly understand others. So just understanding the superficial meaning of the words and the expressions that、uh, the your your per, discussion partner is talking about is not even within the mutual understanding. Right, so having said that, the way of thinking that putting yourself in the other person's shoes is the basic of interactive communication. It is not that easy. It is not that easy to truly understand other others without your bias filter as your sense of value. You know, because most of people listen to persons talk, listen to、uh, discussion persons talk to find the ground of justification of. Of their opinion, they want to insist on in order to persuade a discussion person that our opinion is justice, right? So in the first place, people listen to others' opinion to find excuses to carry out their point in discussion because basically people prioritize. People want to prioritize their opinion first. So people say they understand. They 
people say, mostly people say like they understand the basic of communication is putting themselves in the other person's shoes, but they do just the exact opposite. So, so what do you think? What do you think the majority consensus is? Majority decision is installed in the political decision in democratic society. So it is obvious that this is going to be out of control. If if we if we don't adopt majority decisions in politics, because people insist on their opinions to aim for carrying out their uh, carrying out their points preferentially in discussion. So that's why the concept of com compromise is necessary to reach one conclusion in discussion in modern days. So. If majority consensus, majority decision, majority consensus is sold in political decisions, some lawmakers who won't carry out the point of opposition to the political decision end up being forced to compromise his opinion. So, if we try to carry out our opinion, opinion, uh, if we want, if we try to uh, carry out our opinion each other. This will easily provoke uh, mutual misunderstanding and unconvincing, and some of us just have to compromise on assertion while they remain unconvinced. So, in the result, consensus building, which is a core of decision making, ends up being established on the basis of majority com compromise. So, according to people's consensus. Uh, according to people's sense of value, in modern days, approval and opposition are trade-off. So, if people's web thinking is more inclined to prioritize others' opinion each other, the situation that mutual con mutual conclusion provokes conflicts because of different sense of value can be avoided. So, how do you think about this? Issue. 